Hello everybody, how are you doing? This is Mr. Dallas, and in, in today's lesson I'm going to talk about uh, the slope of parallel and perpendicular lines. Uh, this is part two. I did part one, which explained uh, the difference between parallel and perpendicular lines and slopes. Uh, this video here is going to be talking about uh, more complicated problems than what I had in the part one video. Uh, first of all, this is going to start off a little easier. Second example is more complicated. Uh, it says, are these lines parallel, perpendicular, or neither? Uh, and notice I've got two uh, equations for A, B, C, and D. Uh, all of these equations are in Y equals MX plus B form. Uh, in other words, they're in slope-intercept form. And it's my goal to see if these lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. Uh, well, for lines to be parallel, remember that, they're, that parallel lines have the same slope. So, same slope. Uh, versus lines that are uh, perpendicular to each other have negative reciprocals for slope. And if uh, the slopes in these problems are not the same slope or do not have ne are not negative reciprocal, then the answer is going to be neither. And so let's do this first problem right here. It says um, y equals 5 over 3x minus 3 and y equals a negative 3 over 5x plus 9. Remember, whenever we're talking about uh, parallel and perpendicular lines, we only care about the slope. I don't care about the y-intercepts here. I'm only looking at the numbers in front of the x here because these are both the slope. Well, first of all, I look for parallel first. Are these slopes the same? Well, definitely not. Um, so they're not parallel. Um, now, are these two slopes negative reciprocals of each other? Because if they are, that means that these two lines are going to be perpendicular to each other. Uh, so let's take the slope of the first guy here. We have 5 over 3, and I'm going to find the negative reciprocal of 5 over 3. Well, remember, you flip the fraction, and then you switch the sign. To flip the fraction, I'm going to make it 3 over 5 instead of 5 over 3. And so and then I'm going to switch the sign here. So this is a positive, so this is a negative. So the negative reciprocal of 5 over 3 is a negative 3 over 5. And notice, I have that happening right here. And so... Since this guy matches the slope here, then that means that these two lines are going to be uh, parallel, perpendicular to each other. So perpendicular. Uh, I could have also used the, the symbol for perpendicular, which is the upside down capital T. Either way, these are both going to be correct because these lines are going to be perpendicular to each other. Um, so let's move on to B here. Uh, we have y equals uh, 7 over 3x plus 2 and y equals 7 over 3x plus 3. Uh, now keep in mind here, uh, we're only looking at slope. And this slope of 7 over 3 is exactly the same as this slope right here. So these two lines are going to be parallel to each other. So these are parallel. And remember, the symbol for a parallel is also just two vertical lines. So either one of these would be the right answer. Uh, moving on to C here. Uh, let's go to blue now. Uh, y equals 4x minus 5, and y equals an, uh, 1 over 4x minus 7. Um, are these slopes the same? Uh, no, they're not. So they're not parallel to each other. Uh, what is the slope of the first one? Well, that's 4. Well, what's the negative reciprocal of 4? Well, remember, I need to make this a fraction. So that's 4 over 1. And the negative reciprocal, or the reciprocal of 4 over 1 is 1 over 4. So I flip the fraction here. Now I need to switch the sign. This is a positive. This is a negative. Well, is this negative 1 over 4 the same as the second slope here in, this, in the second equation? They're not the same. This is negative. This is a positive. So this is going to be neither. So this is a perfect example if, if the slopes are not um, the same, and then if they're not negative reciprocals, and that means they're going to be neither. Uh, and so we're done with this one now. Jumping down to D, let's stay with blue. It says y equals 1 over 2x plus 13. Uh, and then we have y equals a negative 2x. Uh, uh, these slopes are not the same, so it's definitely not parallel. Uh, but we have the slope here is 1 over 2. If I take 1 over 2 and I take the negative reciprocal of this, that's going to be a negative 2 over 1. Is negative 2 over 1 the same as negative 2? Absolutely, because I can reduce this negative 2 over 1 to be just negative 2. This slope matches this slope right here. And so since, um, sorry, I'm getting the black color right now. Since uh, these slopes are negative reciprocals, uh, this is going to be perpendicular. Or these two lines are perpendicular to each other. Again, we, we could have just used perpendicular, sorry, that's a U, L-A-R. Uh, I could have just used the upside down capital T as well for perpendicular. Uh, let's move on to two problems that are not going to be quite so easy as those other ones. 
Uh, I have y equals 1 over 2x plus 1. And then I have uh, 6x plus 3y equals 12. Now, there's a problem here. Um, this one's in the y equals mx plus b format. Uh, but this one is not. Uh, I've got to convert this equation into slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, before I can see if these lines are parallel or perpendicular to each other. And, and what's the trick on this one here? Well, my goal is to get the y by itself. And what is the first step here I need to do to get y by itself? Well, I need to cancel out the 6x on the left side. And i got to do it to both sides here to balance the equation. And I end up with a 3y equals a negative 6x plus 12. Now the x is in front because y equals mx plus b. The x is in front, so the x is in front here. Now I need to get the y by itself by dividing by 3. And I now have y equals, uh, this becomes a negative 2x. This is a plus 4. And so now I can figure out if these two lines are, are parallel or perpendicular to each other. The slope here is 1 half. And the slope here is a negative 2. And if I have 1 half, I need a negative reciprocal of 1 half. That gives me a negative 2 over 1, which becomes a negative 2. Uh, this was the same kind of problem that we did on example 1, uh, D. So if you need to see that, you can. But this guy matches this one. So these are negative reciprocals. So these two lines are going to be perpendicular to each other. I'm just going to do the symbol for perpendicular. Just don't feel like spelling that thing out right now. Uh, same idea for B. Um, we need to get this into y equals mx plus b uh, to check on the slope. So y equals m, that's an m, sorry. Uh, and so first one is, is kind of nice. It's, it's already been done for us. So let's go to red here. This slope here is a, a negative 3 over 5, but I don't know the slope on this one here. So the trick on this one is I need to get y by itself here. And so it's going to be one less step than the previous equ equation or probably get an a. I'm just going to have to divide by this negative 5 to cancel out the negative 5 next to the y. And I have y equals uh, 3 over 5. Now, this is a negative 3 over 5x. And this becomes a negative 2 over 5. Uh, now, again, I don't need uh, this y intercept here. This doesn't matter to me. I'm only caring about the slope. Well, this slope of the second equation is a negative 3 over 5. The slope of the first equation here is also a negative 3 over 5. So since these slopes are the same, uh, these two uh, lines are going to be parallel to each other. And so hopefully this helps you understand um, the more complex problems when we're talking about the slope of parallel and perpendicular lines and to see if uh, two lines are parallel or perpendicular to each other. So I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.